Ichiban. So today I got the May box from our atelier. It took, uh, excuse my phone here, it took about 40, probably 42 days to get to me. A lot better than the March box. So it came actually a day after my birthday. I was kind of hoping I would get it on my birthday, but that's okay. I'm just glad that I got it. So let's go ahead and open it up. So of course, as usual, Rosie does a great job of showing you the theme for the month's um, subscription box. And this time it's kind of like that 19, um, I almost want to say like the 1900s, probably, um, trying to remember the Gilded Age. I think that's what it's called. Uh, yeah. And this is what the stamps that are in the set look like. Okay. And then, um, of course she always does her awesome wax seal. So let's just put this aside and then open the box. The box always comes kind of smashed up, but that's okay because all the stuff that's in there is fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's open and let's see what we have in here. Okay, so I was pretty excited about this one because I do like the theme. Um, <clears throat> so we'll start with the stamp that we got this month. I did order the June one, and that one is also still on the way. It's still stuck in Shanghai, so hopefully it doesn't take as long to get to me. Okay, so we got here this beautiful stamp, okay, and let me see if it's on here. No, it's not, but I always love getting these stamps from her. Looks like there's a little glue, it's a little sticky. And then this month's washi, you get two rolls. Um, I'm kind of glad I'm not getting any of the skinny washi. So this one looks like they're labels. Um, yeah, let me get this open. They're uh, gilt labels, gold. Really, really pretty. Let's focus, as you can see. Um, oh, here we go. Let's see, I hope the, the glare isn't too bad. That's actually a pretty good amount. And then we got the other one here, which looks like it could be from like uh, newspaper ads, I think. Yeah, or magazine ads. So that's a fair amount also. If I can find, here we go. Looks like a shoe ad, sorry. I've gotta get it in focus here. Okay, there we go. As you can see, oh, well, it's a corset ad. <laughs> okay. So the first ones that we got here for um, the ephemera, let's actually open that up actually kind of spilling out um, so yeah look at that that's so pretty focus 1920s flapper yeah look at that Vanity Fair Vogue super nice I know that my friend Clarissa over at Karamia's Corner also got this box. Um, I love this stamp set. Let's focus here. Let me put this up. Here we go. With the car and the um, profiles. Very pretty. Okay. And we also have some, well, this is different. I don't think I've seen her send anything like this before. I've been ordering boxes from her since the pandemic started. So, and um, oh, it's lace. Yeah. Okay, let's check it out. Let me assemble this. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's probably going to look better if I put it up against the box. Isn't that pretty? I wonder where she found that. That's awesome. 
I'm gonna leave that there for now, okay? And then of course, it wouldn't be a vintage ephemera box without a ton of ephemera. So this is like really full. I mean, it's thick. There's a lot of stuff there in here. One of these days I should, I don't know if Rosie puts on the website how many pieces of ephemera you get with each box. Um, there's so many small pieces. I'm just gonna pull out, I'll pull out from here. Make some of it's all connected. Yeah, there we go. Look. Ah. Okay, so we'll just do it like this. So, and sorry, once again, my air conditioning is uh, on and I happen to be right next to it. There's no other place that I can really film. So, every video from me is always going to have that probably going on until fall. <laughs> um, so, you've got a, there's a lot of pieces here. Um, we've got some like, this one is a sticker stamp. Okay, turn this up. Uh, hold on here. Okay, doesn't seem like it was bright. I might have accidentally turned it down. Then we have a lot of little cutouts of um, magazine covers, it looks like, or articles, or advertisements, I guess. Really nice. Okay. And these, I don't think these are stickers. Okay. There's like a bunch of like labels, little tiny ones, you know, gilt labels like that. Um, she always puts so much good stuff. Here's the actual for the month of June. It's always gonna be the month ahead. This is the May box, okay? So that's really pretty. Um, looks like I have a little tiny label pad here. Okay, so then another little pad here. Okay, some more um, stamps and little labels, little just little pieces in general. Oops. Okay, and then we've got some vellum pieces here that are really pretty. This would always look good. I do have a, an insert that I made with black paper, so this would look go really well in them. I just haven't used the insert. I just made it because, you know, I had the black paper on hand, um, and I wanted to try and see how it would turn out. And it's, it's actually uh, pretty neat, so I need to make use of pieces like this. So we've got a lot of, like, vintage letters here, okay? postcard very pretty focus okay um, we have oh look at that these are tear parts or whatever you want to call them um, it's not sticker another really pretty piece stamp uh, this looks like it's collage paper several of these stamps which I'm definitely going to stick into my Hobonichi okay so we got three here all right and then we've got some bigger ones here these must have been from a I've seen them these little vellum books that have um, various uh, what do you want to call it um, just advertisements and you know vintage um, botanical illustrations and stuff like that. Um, we still have some more like vintage labels and such. Uh, tags or whatever you want to call it. Just working my way down the stack. Some more pieces and labels. Here's some um, vellum pieces with numbers. Some little tiny um, quotes or uh, pages from a book. There's another two. And this one is Chinese. Oh, it's a little tiny pamphlet. So then we have this 
beautiful uh, die cut. And then, of course, still more vellum pieces here. With an add. So that's from the first envelope. Let me go ahead and put this in. I just wanted to be extra careful. Was it from this one or was it from the other one? I don't remember. Oh. <clears throat> well, either way, they're all going in. So I've been actually taking the stuff out of the boxes and putting them, separating them, like put, putting all of the vellum envelopes in one container and then putting all the washi in another and then putting all the stamps in another um, just so that I can reduce the amount of like these boxes that are just piling up. Um, yeah, it was just getting to the point where, because I was labeling by the month and then I was like, you know what, that's just not going to work because that's just too much. Too many boxes. So, all right, so we got another envelope here. Let's get this open. This one has some really pretty stuff. Okay, so let's take all this out and I'll pull the other later. So I'll do it this way since I was able to pull it all. So we've got, these are all like sticker backed. Okay, very, very dainty. And then you've got the floral stuff. Oh. Magnolia, very pretty. Oops, another one with an angel. There we go. Another angel. Ooh, look at this. It's like slides, um, the frames for a slide with acetate. That's awesome. And then I have a card here. It's very nice. And then I've got, of course, um, printed pieces. And then what else do we have in here? I've got another um, one of these. They, were, they also had this in the box last month. Um, just like some kind of textile or texture kind of thing. I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> then we got more pieces here with vellum. Um, and I think it's sticker backed. So. Now we've got the profiles, flowers, we've got, yeah, these are all sticker. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, tickets, um, more vellum pieces that are not stickers, more tickets, and we've got this envelope um, focus. Okay, so let's put this one back. What is it? Look at it messed up. hoping I can get this video up at least by Sunday because <laughs> I have my um, happy mail box, my birthday box from Karamia's Corner that I filmed yesterday on my birthday, the 24th, and I want to get that one up tomorrow for Saturday. So I'm taking vacation all of next week, so I have no excuse not to film and upload all of my videos. Um, I do have a lot of stuff I need to film, but I don't want to put it all up at once. So at least I have something to upload, you know? So we've got here, hold on, this is just ridiculous. It keeps going off and it's always the same thing over and over. Okay. All right. So looks like they're pages from a book. Oh, look at that, had a foxtrot. Oh, I love this. Share, is it an F or a T? Not sure. And then we've got tea dyed do doilies. 
I have yet to do that. I need to. Maybe I'll do it this week, this coming week. I don't know. And then we've got, I wonder if this is like from like goodies. Um, no, it's not. It's from a different um, fashion magazine or whatnot from back then. Another tea stain. Okay. And that's it. <laughs> that was actually kind of quick. So um, I'm really, really pleased with this week, this month's box. Um, I can't even remember what was in June's, but July's, I just saw the preview and I'm like, oh, I have to get that. Um, just, it's a, I think it's the, the July theme is gonna be trains, like vintage, you know, old type of trains. So, or streetcars. And um, yeah, definitely gonna order that when she puts up the pre-order. So, all right. So that's what I got from the um, May subscription box. Now she probably still has some in stock. So if you're interested in getting um, this box or probably any of the boxes that I've shown in the past, she might still have stock left. So you'll have to look on her website. You just type in r.artillier, or I'm sorry, Atelier. Uh, I think it's Shopify and then it'll pull up her site and then you can go in and you can actually look and see what are all of the previous boxes that she still has in stock and um, can order. So, yeah. I mean, this is a great way of like collecting a lot of goodies or, you know, junk journals, especially if you're into the whole um, vintage ephemeral look. I mean, I have so much now that I can work with, you know, that I really don't have to, I actually, I honestly, I don't go looking around for ephemera anymore, like of this style, because I know I'm gonna get my fill when I get Rosie's box. So yeah, um, I hope you guys are having a great day. All right, and I'll be posting more haul videos. All right, bye.